here. If I want to actually take and uh, merge paint uh, in a painting uh, application, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, and you'll see if I just push it, I take the red paint, merge those together, you can see that it does it, but what it's really doing is just pushing the pixel across the screen. So it's actually not blending these as I want them to do. And as, as, as I push these, you notice I don't get a real accurate rendition of what would happen if I was actually trying to merge these. So I'm going to back these out real quick. And now what I'm going to do is use a tool, a new tool within Photoshop. And this is, um, you notice I'm using the Wacom tablet, which has this nice 3D pen. So you notice I've, I've picked a brush here uh, in the brush palette. And as I rotate this brush around, you can see I'm actually seeing the brush as an artist would use it in 3D. As I change the angle of the brush, as I rotate it, I'm actually seeing what I would do on the screen. And you can see the brush pattern here in black inside there. So now when I go through, and I actually want to take this uh, red paint, and I push it, you can see I actually get the effect. <laughs> as though I actually had a real brush, and I was actually squishing it across the screen. I'll take the yellow, and let's just merge those two, and we'll just do a quick brush wow. across this. Wow. And we're doing something even more here, which is that we're not just actually mixing these, we're actually looking at the compounds, the liquid compounds, and analyzing how they would actually merge as a liquid. So Photoshop is doing some algorithms behind the scenes to actually say, how would this actually merge as a chemical? And then what happens even in the drying pattern, when those two chemicals mix, what will the output be on that?